Hello, welcome to Stiff Joints. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Kenner Cracked Tusk Predator figure. So let's start off with accessories. So we have um, a spear, you know, this is a, a reasonably well sculpted um, accessory. You're not really going to see this part here because it goes into this sort of a plasma cannon thing. Um, you know, it's huge. Uh, it's, it's a very exaggerated um, uh, accessory. But that just s s slips in like that. It's very easy. And uh, obviously you can shoot it. Uh, all right. Oh, ow. that's quite. It's very, very hard. Like if you got hit in the eye, you know that'd be quite sore. I mean, it, it wouldn't kill you or anything. It's nothing to complain about. But you know, it's it's gonna hurt a little. And uh, this bit, you know, just uh, slips on quite easily. And this bit's actually quite well detailed as well. Um, um back and then this is a uh, this is cool. You know, this bit here kind of kills it just a little bit, but then it kind of. This is also quite sturdy as well. I've had this for a couple of years now and it's not broken. I'm surprised I haven't lost this as well. Uh, next up, we have the helmet or mask or whatever the heck it's called. Um, this is a this is a cool, unique kind of design. It's got kind of tusks, I guess, making up for the crap one. Uh, it's kind of like a, a sort of gas breathing apparatus kind of thing going on. And then as a pattern here, it's actually quite good. Not uh, oh, it's quite consistent, but not totally. Um, and on the inside, it's got a uh, sort of mould of the predator's head, which obviously helps it stick on. But unlike some of them, it doesn't have the sort of um, things sticking out that go into the head. So um, you'd, you'd think it wouldn't stay on as well, but it's actually it actually stays on quite well, but not. As well as some of the other ones, but let's actually move on to the figure. So without all his gear on, it's actually quite basic. You know, it's got the standard Kenner five point uh, points of articulation. Uh, you know, swivels everywhere. You know, no torso movement. Yeah, and um, you can't move the legs all the way around. Obviously, arms can. Um, uh, head can, and I think this is because of his uh, dreadlocks or whatever. But um, paint, you know, it's a very kind of sudden, you know, it um, just kind of appears out of nowhere, you know. Uh, this kind of fl flat kind of texture, shiny as well. Um, all one colour. It's a, it, I kind of wish it was all like that actually, you know, it'd be more consistent. Rather than having this thing here, which is just kind of stupid looking, um, I don't really see the point. Um, and then you get it kind of just fades on here, so kind of you know, kind of drifts off to the side here. Uh, I don't know. I think that's just mine, like, but it's it's kind of weird. It's like he's got brain as well. That's a that's kind of cool. Uh, and obviously that, that just kind of reach here kind of helps the uh, mask stay on. It's got an open mouth this one. Uh, he, so you see we can get uh, Ah Christ, there we go. Knew that was going to happen. Uh, you can see inside and it's, it's kind of disgusting actually. Uh, I don't know, something really minging about that. I don't want to say why. Uh, and then you get the crask, crask? Cracked task. Um, which is, you know, it's a very small detail, but I kind of like it. It's cool. Um, it's like cool name as well. Crass. Cr oh my god, it'd be cool if I could say it. Cracked Tusk Predator. Now that's cool. Cracked Tusk. So uh, you put this on here. You know, it's got a bit sticks out here, and it, it kind of difficult. Uh, and this bit here, you just do that, and there you go. It's on. On and it stays on quite well, um, and that doesn't fall out or anything. You can't pull it out. You have to press this sort of button at the top here. Um, um, it's also got the, the blades here, um, which are you kind of morph in its hand there. Uh, but you know that's not too bad. Now for the mask. So, uh, putting the mask on, uh, it just kind of slips on. I suppose the tusks are what's left of that one. 
helps this stick on. So um, it uh, does help it because I think it would fall off very easily. But um, <clears throat> whoa, there's a bit here uh, that sticks out, and that goes in that hole in his mouth. So you know that helps, and it's quite good, but it's kind of easy. You know, easy air. You have to force some of the masks off, like uh, the two pack uh, that I just talked about in the last video. But this is a cool one. Yet again, if you see this one, uh, just pick it up. Oh my voice! Uh, but if you see it, um, <clears throat> if you see it for a reasonable price, like I don't know, fifteen pound or twenty pound, if you're really, you know, desperate, I'd pick it up. But you can get it without the accessories. But honestly, I I don't really like doing that unless it's an alien. Because, you know, predators without their masks and, you know, their weapons, it's, it's not as cool. So, yeah, that, you know, this is a cool figure. This bit on the torso bothers me, because it doesn't match with the rest of it, but it's a small part of it. So, yeah, I'd recommend getting this one. It's quite cool. <laughs> I like it. Neck has done one, but the mask doesn't come off, and that's why I s this is sort of the one that it's the first predator kind of figure I got so you know it's gonna have that special place in my heart because it's cool it's a cool figure um it's aged reasonably well considering some figures that came out at the time but yeah if you see this for a reasonable price I'd pick it up if you were a fan